guys, today I'm participating in the blog hop for the Spellbinders July 2020 clubs. The, cl the club kit I'm going to be featuring is the July card kit of the month. So here it is, just to kind of give you a refresher, if you didn't catch my unboxing video of everything that comes in the kit, you get your cardstock, dies, sequins, pattern paper, ephemera pieces, and then your little um, memory cards, I'm not sure what you call those, to the left. And I did do a five card, one kit video, which I will link above if you want to check that out. But for this blog hop, if, in order to participate, you will have to go over to my blog in order to have a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Spellbinders. If you go to Spellbinders blog, leave a comment, they're going to choose three winners to win a $50 gift certificate. So the more you hop along, the more you comment, the more chances you have of winning. When I participated in their blog hop, it, I didn't participate last month, but I think it was the month before, I chose a winner and they never got back to me. So make sure that if you do participate that you check back and see if you won and definitely contact me if you are the winner because the deadline for someone to contact me is the deadline of... I can't choose another one, basically. So that person, I gave them to the deadline. They never contacted me. And it, by then, it was too late for me to choose another one. So let's go ahead and get started in the card I'm going to make. It's a very quick card. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love ephemera. And so this card is going to be using some of the ephemera pieces. And again, if you haven't checked out my five cards, one kit video, definitely check that out to get more inspiration. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've cut out all my pieces. I have my sentiment and some ephemera pieces that I'm going to use. I have my pattern paper. I already cut out of the foil cardstock you get in the kit, the little strip of little decorative pieces that you see above that use the gold foil cardstock, which is really pretty. And on the right, I am using one of those artistic cards. It reminds me of artistic trading cards. I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach my pattern paper. Very pretty. It reminds me of wallpaper. The kit this month was vintage, so you can definitely see how it's true to the theme. <laughs> Very pretty. Um, the kit came with a die that was a frame, and it, it's really pretty. I used it in my card kit, my five cards, one kit video. I apologize for my nail polish. I made several videos. And I forgot to remove my nail polish, so it looks kind of yucky. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down. And adding that little gold foiling border to the top and bottom, I think, really adds a nice touch. Here, actually, this is a dimensional sticker that comes in the kit. And my I had a problem taking the acetate off. It took off the sticky part of the sticker so just if you have this just be careful when removing it and then you just add some tape adhesive or wet adhesive and it works just fine thankfully it doesn't damage the sticker but be careful when removing that that it probably could take off the sticky part of that sticker I'm gonna go ahead I went ahead and popped up this little B and go ahead and add the B and then I will attach my sentiments using the foam that came in the kit. So if you're interested in any of the kits, I will have all the links below. And they have a big die of the month, small die of the month, the card kit of the month. Um, I'm not sure what else they have. There's like ones you can combine. Uh, the link will be below to all that. And you do have the option to skip a month if you're not um, a fan of what their card kit is that month or their die is. You do get the option to skip a month, which is really nice. So here is the card. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely if you want to participate and enter for a chance to win, head over to my blog and leave a comment. I will choose a winner. All the dates and times and deadlines and all that will be listed on my blog and below if you're interested. So go check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.